All right, Sim Racers, this is Larry at TJR Sim here. And apologize, you do, apologize you don't see my face, but that's not really important uh, in this video. So, as you had seen, I had gotten a Sim Magic uh, Q1 shifter, and I love it. <laughs> Although it only lasted two weeks, uh, but I, I do uh, really like the mechanism on it. So, I ran into a few problems, and I'll just show you what's here. Reached out to the uh, Sim shop that I had bought it from, and they of course, I guess nowadays everybody handles everything through Discord, so they told me to go over to the Sim Magic Discord channel, which they were uh, helpful as well. And it took a couple days uh, with the time difference to get, you know, a uh, notification back of what to do, and then them try to diagnose what was going on. So uh, I think we got it straightened out now, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and repair it now, and just kind of show you some of the things I've learned on this. Some magic Q1 uh, shifter here. Now the problem I had was in the very beginning, and I'll drop a video here, but when I would push it forward, it would just stay, well there it is, it's staying locked forward. And then I'd have to go back. And then this direction had no uh, resistance, right? So it go, go forward and stay locked, and then uh, I'd have to bump it back. Earlier it was actually working just fine like this, but uh, yeah, it would uh, just stay locked. So for that, they said to go over here and loosen up these screws here, which these are, uh, what are these? This is a measure, two and a half, two and a half inch. And so they just said, break these loose, to, you know, allow this thing to kind of recenter itself. But it's not quite working like that now. That's just funny because it actually worked fine just a while ago. So I'm wondering if that doesn't have something to do with uh, the other problem that I, I have with this. And we'll, so we'll see. We'll just work on through this and see. But they said loosen it up to, uh, I guess, basically release the tension so it would uh, be able to return by itself. But it's not uh, returning by itself. But okay. All right. Well, good. We're unraveling it. <laughs> now, uh, I have the tension actually quite loose here. And I do normally run it uh, quite high. I wonder if that made a difference as far as uh, working a while ago. Uh, maybe let me wind it in and see. Let's just see. Yeah, see that worked actually. Too loose of a tension. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it's almost getting a rebound. Yeah, it's getting like a rebound on it. Where'd it go? So, huh, that doesn't really work. I just have to oil this whole thing up, I think. <clears throat> but to fix the other problem is, as you can probably see there in the, in the picture, as this moves forward, this bottom, uh, get in here, this bottom jaw here uh, will not engage, right? So it's not engaging. So it's not uh, pushing up high enough uh, to engage the star. So you can push it in and it pops up a little bit, although my finger's in the way, but uh, it's not quite engaging the star. So to fix that part, and maybe this will help fix it all uh, up here as well, but we'll see. I said, oh, okay, just take the bottom plate off, and there's another plate in there, and you can actually already see it now. The spring is poking out the bottom plate there, uh, right here, right? Here's just poking out the bottom plate. Hard to see in the, in the but yeah, there we go. It's poking out, right? So it means it's came out of that little shield that they have there. So. I went ahead and just to save some time, I took all the other bolts out. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, uh, take these out as well. It's easier to use my nicer one. Let's see what's going on here. Put those aside. Got the plate. That's some normal, normal uh, assembly grease and stuff that splatters in here. So just wipe that clean. Actually, I'd sprayed some WD-40 in there too to help try to loosen up that little uh, clamp, right? That little lever in there claw i guess you call it but anyway clean that up uh yeah really nice piece. i like the mechanics on this it seems pretty easy to repair but now we see what's going on here right so springs just hanging out this is too loose <laughs> so we'll take this off see if i got a, a uh, right wrench for that size there i hate when they use these little bitty ass screws this is not a two and a half so excuse me here this is probably a two mil let's see yep it's a little two mil in there so i'm going to pop this off as you can see there's a little plate spring fell out well, everything fell out 
So looks like I'm gonna clean this off. Got one spring. They're pretty light springs actually. And then here's the other spring. Come on now. That is also uh, damaged as you can see because it slid out the bottom. So I'm gonna hope that it actually will realign itself when I put it back in there. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. And then obviously these are all greased up a little bit from when I put uh, some WD-40 in there, thinking that you know it, it was slot, it was getting stuck on the shaft here, binding. But it doesn't seem like that was the case. Wipe this one off as well. So yeah, got a little C-clip here, holds this pin in. Of course, I want to make sure that I'm going to clean this off. But uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting actually how it all works here. <clears throat> Seeing the innards of this baby. So as you move the handle back and forth, you can see how that works. Of course, you're not engaging the star because you don't have anything in there to engage the, engage the star. But you can at least see how this works here. Uh, you got a uh, spring up here as well. And yeah. Pretty neat. Of course, your circuit board up here on the top. I'm not taking all this rest apart. I'm just going to try to address this one issue here. I did see one channel they put springs in here to help it return better. Apparently, there was a model that had that or something at one time, but uh, they took it out. But anyway, I digress. We will shove this puppy back in there. Make sure that's going the right way. Is it the right way? Let's see. So now it's this way. Oh, I had it right the right the first time because it's going to push across there and then grab it back. Yes. All right. So you want to make sure you get these in the right way, of course. <laughs> then like this, and then put the springs back in, and then I've just done a video. Put the springs back in here, which you can see they fit around that little uh, C clip there, and it should work. If not, I'm going to just find a different spring. But apparently, these things are on take about a month to get to you in the US so welcome to Chinese parts but uh, nothing that the shop can do anything about but is what it is right I'll put this up where I can mess with it here but what I want to make sure is that <clears throat> I get this on nice and tight hopefully this is in, in view and slam it in there nice and tight I can feel it recess a little bit Put the screw back on. I just want to see if this will hold itself in there. I know you can't see me doing this, but you know that's what it is, right? Put the screw back on there. I would normally suggest putting a little bit of blue lock Loctite on this so it doesn't back out. However, this is such a small thread or, or uh, Allen head that two millimeters. These are super easy to strip. So honestly, I'd rather just uh, fiddle with having to go back and pull this plate off for say a five minute job. And uh, put it back together uh, if if the springs were to come out, um, then have Loctite on it and me possibly strip this one little head off and uh, not be able to get it out again. So I even ran across one of theirs here was actually very tight and I couldn't get it off without trying to strip it off. So I just stopped basically. I'd have to add a little heat to it or a little bit of lubricant to it. So just snug it up. See what that does. I was looking at it again. It looks like I put in the uh, levers in there backwards. So silly me. Anyway, this is. Ooh, let me see if it gets in the camera. That's how it should go. As far as the, the uh, little claws in there or levers. Oops. These little levers right here, pushing against the dogs right there against the star pattern itself. So as we push and then slide. So you want to just make sure you have both of these stars in between, which shouldn't be a problem because it's how you took it apart and it'll slide back in the same way so anyway pretty easy uh then i put the uh the springs back in like i said one was a little bit uh elongated here a little bit messed up but when i put the plate back on it works just fine so let's do that again and it will be if we can do this in a way you can see this here and boop. shove her in so like i said i wouldn't use loctite on this this just seems like something that You'll periodically need to take off and fix yourself. And if you lock tight it in there, it's such a small screw that, um, let me turn this around. Oops. 
I'll put it in the opposite way actually so it doesn't want to wind out as it rotates. Same here. See how this is the looser end here? Or the, uh, the not quite as compact end like this is. This is wound up really nicely and tight. Or this end has a little bit been pulled on. So I'm going to put them in. Uh, gosh darn it. Keep dropping it. That going inwards, right? So that way maybe it'll help uh, straighten this back out and make it more compact like it's supposed to be. And it should be easier to get the plate on this way. So I digress. Shove it in. Hold it in. Get your little screw. Right. So, and I know my fingers are in the way. But anyway, that's it. Grab a little bit of snugness on it. Not too much because you don't want to flex it. I see that I still have a little bit of lift right here, which I don't like. This other side's nice and flat. So, let me undo this again. I think that that one spring's not quite in there properly. So, just make sure I can mash it in there all the way tight. I have to do this a little bit off camera here. Not off camera, but <laughs> you won't be able to see it very well. Yeah, it still has a little bit of lift there, but we'll see how it goes. Now it should theoretically work. Yep, that works. Now that's working now. So that fixes the problem. So in the end, this is what you need to look for. Uh, if you do have that problem where you lose engagement, where you, your little uh, levers in there, or uh, lack of better terms, I keep changing the name of these, but these little claws basically you get in the light there. If they're not returning in properly, then look at the bottom here, take off the bottom plate. Possibly you have it escaping out the bottom there like you saw originally. Take them out, re-put them in there, and uh, tighten it back up, and then you should be good to go. And then again, if this is sticking, uh, they had said, of course, release these two screws here and uh, allow this to recenter itself, basically, and then tighten them back up. Uh, but now it's returning fine, so good. It wasn't earlier, but apparently it has something to do with this being able to recenter and, then, of course, have enough pressure for this star to help pull it back or help realign it because you are sliding these shafts right here on the bottom right so forward and then it's returning back so uh yeah cool nice all right well that was it that was a quick check now i got it working again and uh yeah red rock and roll one other note i've heard is people saying that uh, don't over tighten this one because something like this will happen so to me, you know, mechanically, uh, if you engineer something and you have a setting on there, it should work in all those settings, right? So, you know, I put it tight the way I like it, and uh, I'll just deal with it here if I have to replace the springs or something like that. So, anyway, uh, Sim Shop is who I got this device from. They were very good uh, with uh, getting back to me, even on a Sunday. I sent it off to a Sunday, sent my question off to Sunday, hey, this wasn't working. They gave me the information I needed to contact on Sim Magic uh, Discord channel. And then, of course, Discord took, the engineers over there took a, a day to get back to me. At first, this was sticking forward, like I said, or like I showed you. So they told me what to do. And I was like, okay, cool, that fixed that problem. However, these aren't returning, these springs, these uh, little levers here, uh, claws are not returning upwards. And so they said, oh, you may, uh, I forget what they said, but uh, basically a different engineer I said, well, it looks like it. maybe I need to pull it apart and oil it. Maybe it's not returning. So I just sprayed a little bit of oil in there. I said it didn't work. Maybe the springs, or it sounds like the springs are failing, right? So then that got, a, I guess, maybe a different engineer involved. And <laughs> I normally answer the questions maybe that the first, I think you probably have different levels of, of, of people, right? Uh, some know some things but not everything and then uh, once it goes beyond that person's expertise then it goes up to the next level and so that's where i got to the next level of the engineer i believe and then he just sent me some pictures to unscrew this and uh pull them out and uh essentially retighten it up he just showed me two pictures basically i'll pop them up here in the chat in the uh in the video of uh outlining what to do but it's, it was pretty vague <laughs> i'm like well if the springs failed then uh maybe it's uh you know, that won't fix it, but I was able to contain the spring back in there nicely again. So yeah, all is well. All right, I'll just put this back plate on here again and rock and roll and go back out and play. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Sim Magic Q1 shifter. If uh, 
something like this goes wrong with you, then you uh, have a little bit of a idea of how to fix it yourself. So, uh, or at least what to look for, right? All right. Hit subscribe. Share this to everybody, including your grandma. Get everybody to subscribe. The more subscriptions I get, the uh, more products I can uh, afford to buy for the channel. Uh, but, you know, also I got affiliate links, several of affiliate links uh, in the description. Check them all out if you're in the and the uh, uh, wanting to shop for sim gear, pretty much cover all of them at this point. Some actually have discounts as well. And obviously the more uh, YouTube subscribers I get, the more popular my channel is, and the more that I'll be able to get some discount at least parts, be able to review for the channel, and hopefully get some more discount codes for you. So, that said, talk to you later. I'm out.